This is lesson 1.5.8, and our objectives in this lesson are to learn how to write inequalities to represent solutions. It may be a review for some of you, but um, it'll help us in our next lesson when we learn how to solve inequalities and then represent those solutions as um, graphs. Okay, so let's take some notes. A couple things that are important to know is what does a closed circle versus an open circle represent? So when you have a number line, if you want to include one of the solutions as, or one of the numbers as part of your solutions, you would draw a closed circle around that. So for example, um, say I did some kind of calculation and I decide that the number one is going to be part of my solution. I would draw a closed circle around the number one and then say that every number that is greater than number one is also going to be in my solution, then I would take and I would draw a line in that direction. Okay, so in this situation, the number one is part of my solution along with every single number that is greater than number one. So 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 2, 3, 4, all those numbers are going to be part of my solution. But the key for you guys is to understand that that closed filled in circle means that the number one is part of the solution. Okay, so compare that to an open circle. If you have an open circle, then the number is not part of the solution. So say I did my calculations and I've decided that every number greater than one this time, but not including one, is going to be part of my solution. Well, that means that 1.1 is part of my solution, 1.2 is part of my solution, and et cetera, et cetera, but the number one is not part of the solution. Well, what I do is I mark that spot, the one, with an open circle, but I know because it's open that the one is not actually part of the solution. Everything greater than number one will be part of the solution, just not one itself. Okay, and again, I could still draw a line, oops, Let's actually draw it from here. So everything greater than one is part of my solution, just not the one. All right, a couple more things just to remind you. We need to understand what the inequalities represent. So if you have, and you read this from left to right, so always think of math as left to right. You know, when you're doing PEMDAS, that's left to right. When you're looking at um, inequalities, look at them from left to right. Unless you have a variable somewhere, then you'll read it from the variable. But otherwise, think of it as left to right. So in this case, we have a greater than sign um, because I'm looking at it from left to right. So the way you represent that is you would say, okay, let's pick a number, 10. 10 is going to be greater than 6. So you can read that as 10 is greater than 6. Sometimes people struggle trying to remember um, which side is greater, which side is less than, but if you get in the habit of reading it from left to right or from the perspective of the variable, then you'll, you'll get it right. So let's just write up here, look at it from left to right, and that's how they are represented in these notes. But I'll show you some examples where you want to look at it from the perspective of the variable. So left to right or from the variable. Okay. So let's look at the next one. In this situation, if you look at the next one, you have a line underneath, and that line represents equal. So in this case, it's still a greater than sign. We have greater than or equal. So it could be the number one, as in the prior example. It could be greater than the number one or equal the number one. That is a greater than or equal to. Okay, in this case, we could say that um, 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 1, right? Or you could say that 1 is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Okay, those are just some examples. But obviously, we could, we could list an infinite number of examples if we're just comparing numbers. Let's do one with the um, perspective of the variable. Let's look from the variable. So say I solve an equation and I end up with this. I end up with x, and then I have um, some number over here, 6. Let's just say that I want x to be 
less than six. Well, in that case, I have to turn my inequality as it relates to the variable. So now I would be reading from right to left. X is less than, notice the small pointy end, than six, okay? If I wrote it like this instead, and I said, mm, I'm gonna put a two here, two is then less than four. Okay, so in this case, now you're reading it from left to right. As soon as you put a variable in there, you read it from where the variable is. <clears throat> so since the variable's on the right, I'll go ahead and start on the right. X is then less than six. And our final inequality is a less than or equal to. Okay, so again, I can say that two is less than or equal to two because one of my choices is the equal underneath. Um, I could also say that 2 is less than or equal to 10. Okay. If I'm looking at it from a variable, pers variable perspective, <clears throat> and again if I have my variable on the right side, then if I want x to be less than or equal to some number, we'll say negative 3, then I would read it from the variable x and say that x is less than or equal to negative three. Okay, so the big thing for you guys to remember is that go ahead and read your inequalities from left to right or wherever the variable is. So if the variable happens to be on the right side of your equation, then you would read it from right to left. Okay, and we'll do examples using variables in our next lesson. All right, let's practice writing. Okay, so in this first example, we have an open circle so as we know, we do not include the open circle as part of our response. Um, the negative two is not a solution. Okay. So what I know then is that all my solutions are going to be greater than negative two. All of them greater. So all my x values, all my solutions, so up here I'm going to say that x is equal to the solutions. Okay, because we need some sort of variable. So I'm going to use x. So in this case, I'm just going to keep everything left to right to make it simple. I'm going to keep my variable on the left. So I want my solutions are all to the right of negative 2, right? They're all greater than negative 2. They are greater than negative 2. Okay, but notice that I don't put greater than or equal to negative 2 because I have that open circle. Anytime you have an open circle, then you have a greater than or you could have a less than, but you would not have a greater than or equal to. All right, let's try the second example. So in this example, um, x representing our solutions, our solutions include negative two because it's colored in, and they include all the numbers to the left of negative two, and the numbers to the left of negative two are smaller than negative two. So all of my solutions are gonna be less than or equal to t positive 2. Okay, and notice it's colored in, so we have to include the 2. But then we also include everything to the left of 2. All right, so if you guys want to try the next two on your own, go ahead and pause this and see what you come up with. Okay, hopefully you have some solutions. And so we would, again, list x as our solutions. So our solutions are going to be where? Our solutions are going to be to the right of negative 4. So that means our solutions are going to be greater than negative 4, right? All these numbers are bigger than negative 4. But our solution does not include negative 4 because we have an open circle. So I'm going to use my greater than sign and negative 4. Okay. In our final example, if you notice where our solutions are, so let's use x to represent our solutions again. Our solutions include the 1 because the circle is colored in, and they also include all the numbers to the left of 1, and those numbers are smaller than 1, right? 0, negative 1, negative 2, it goes on forever. So we need all the numbers that are less than, but also equal to 1. Okay, and that concludes some examples on writing inequalities to represent the graphs, the uh, line graphs. So go ahead and give the um, 
practice problems a try.